Well, hello there. My name is Thomas Frank, and welcome back to Notion Fundamentals. This is the free and open Notion beginners course here on YouTube. And in this lesson, we are talking about how to create complex multi-column layouts inside of your pages in Notion. You've probably seen plenty of examples of these if you've seen other people sharing their dashboards, or if you've used my templates in the past, like my habit tracking template or my personal dashboard template, which we actually did a full build guide video for just last week. I'll have that link in the description down below. And whether or not you wanna make full, huge templates like this inside of Notion, or you just wanna put two columns of text next to each other so you can cross-reference them, it's very easy to create multiple columns inside of Notion. So this is gonna be a pretty quick lesson. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. I'm gonna show you a couple of different limitations and also a couple of different advanced tricks. As always, you can go over to thomasjfrank.com fundamentals to get all of the example files, written versions of lessons in this course, and every other video inside this course as well. It is your one-stop shop for learning the basics of Notion and then jumping off into more advanced stuff if you want. So with all that being said, let's dive into the lesson. So if you were around for the last lesson on the basics of blocks, you will probably remember that this personal dashboard template is the example project that we're gonna be going through for the rest of Notion Fundamentals. And in building this with all of its databases, linked databases, synced blocks, all kinds of stuff, we are going to be learning the ins and outs of basically every component in every feature inside of Notion. And if you will remember, uh, one little side note here, I have the sidebar hidden, but if you can just hover over this little hamburger thing and click it, you can actually uh, keep it pinned here. If you'll remember last time what we came up with was this single column, much more, I guess, simplified version of the dashboard. So what we're going to start doing is dragging columns around to create our multi-column layout, which again, looks like this. And when you want to create two different columns inside of Notion, I'm going to hide this really quick. All you need to do is grab one of your blocks with this little six dot block menu here and drag it until you see a horizontal blue line next to another block. I can do it on the right, and I can also do it here on the left. So I want tasks to be on the left, and I'm gonna go ahead and drag that on the right. Note that if I drag it and drop it here with this horizontal line, it's going to go underneath tasks, but that's not quite what I want. I want to drag it, and I wanna drop it here, and boom, I've just given myself a two column layout. Now what I also want to do is go ahead and make this a full width page and full width pages are going to be especially useful for you when you are creating multi column layouts, especially if your um, actual notion window is narrower than what I have on the screen right now, if you have a smaller monitor say, so now we have two columns, but we have all of these things kind of underneath the tasks uh, heading here and they're in a single column. So what I wanna do is get the notes underneath the notes column. So one thing you can do inside of Notion is instead of individually dragging all these blocks underneath, you can simply click and drag to select multiple blocks and then go ahead and drag those. And you'll see that now that I've dragged it close enough underneath this notes heading, I have a half width horizontal bar here. If I drag it just a little bit lower, it's going to be full width and it would be a single full width column like we have with basically everything else here. So I want to make sure that I have that half width a horizontal line here and I'll go ahead and drop those. And now I have my notes column here on the right. And I'm going to do the same thing with my tasks. I'm going to drag them and I'm going to drop them underneath tasks. So that in a nutshell is how you create multi-column layouts inside of Notion. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward right now and create the rest of my columns. And now to finish up this layout, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this picture of Bruce Lee and I'm gonna drag him all the way to the right. So he is to the right of all of these columns here. Now I'm gonna grab my quote, drag and drop that underneath him. And now we have essentially something very similar to the multi-column layout that we have in the template version of the dashboard. Now, one other thing that you can do is resize these columns on the fly. Notice they are going to resize themselves if I start dragging the window in, they're gonna get smaller. And if you happen to use Notion on your phone, you're almost always gonna get a single column layout. And here in the desktop version, if I keep resizing this, on the desktop and the browser app, these columns are going to retain their layout to the point where it's really hard to actually see what's going on here. However, if you're using Notion on your phone, this isn't what's going to happen. All of these different blocks you've laid out in a multi-column layout are gonna stack themselves into one column. And the order of the blocks inside that column is going to be determined by the left to right order of each row inside your original multi-column layout. So keep that in mind when you're designing your dashboards here. Think about how they're gonna look on your phone as well. And I will note that this is all 
also why I create this little quick links toggle with our table of contents block here is because on your phone, you're not gonna be able to see all this stuff at a glance. So you wanna have this table of contents, which will link to all of your different headings, which means that on your phone, you can simply open the little toggle, tap one of those heading links and zoom down to it instead of scrolling for days to find what you want. Now, one significant limitation about dragging blocks around to create multi-column layouts is inline databases. And we haven't really talked about databases too much here in Notion Fundamentals, but I do have a sample database uh, prepared here. So one little thing that I'll mention here is if you have a block that is already within a column like this and you want it to be a full width block, you can simply drag it down until that little horizontal line is now taking up the whole screen. And I'm gonna go ahead and just paste this little table that I've made here onto the screen. And one thing that you're going to notice if I create say a, a heading, so we'll just call this uh, tasks two. If I want this to be to the left or right of this H2 block here, I can't drag it and drop it. This has been a limitation with inline databases, no matter what the view is, board view, calendar view, uh, table view here, this has been a limitation with these inline databases for a very, very long time. And the opposite does not work either. I can't drag this heading to the left or right of the inline database. So there are two different tricks for getting your databases into multi-column layouts. First, you can come over here to the three dot menu in the inline database, and you can turn it into a page. So now it is simply a little page link block, and I can go ahead and move it to the right of tasks, and then I can turn it back into an inline database. So that works really well. Or what you can do is simply create a dummy block. So I'm just gonna create a text box called dummy, and use that to form your multi-column layout first, and then drag your inline table underneath the dummy block, then delete the dummy block, and you get basically the exact same result. The next thing I wanna share with you is actually brand new, and I'm really glad that I waited until now to do my multi-column layout lesson because just recently Notion now uh, released the ability to copy and paste multi-column layouts. This was something you could not do before. In the past, if I would have copied these three blocks and pasted them, they would have all been in a single column layout. But now, if I copy them and I come down to a brand new line and I paste them, that new uh, multi-column layout is retained. And the same is true if I create a page, let's call this hello, and do it within the page. I now retain my multi-column layout, which is really cool. Additionally, you can now paste your multi-column layouts inside of toggles, which is really cool. So let's create a little toggle and do the exact same thing. So this unlocks a lot of power and eliminates the need for a lot of really annoying workarounds when it comes to making multi-column layouts inside of Notion. So for example, what if I wanted two different columns underneath this column right here. So I wanted a column right here and a column right here. Well, in the past, I would have had to go through a very complex workaround, which you can go look at that video if you're curious uh, about, and it still does work, but now we don't necessarily have to because we can simply take this toggle into which we've pasted these multiple columns and we can drag it underneath our column here. And now we gain a nested column layout. And if we go ahead and turn this toggle into say a heading two, just something that doesn't contain other blocks, we can then delete it and we gain our nested columns underneath this middle column here. Now there are some limitations to this copying and pasting functionality. For example, I have three columns here, then one column, then three columns. If I copy all of this content and I try to paste it, let's go back into this little hello page, make it full width, and I try to paste it down here. Well, let's give ourselves a full width column not going to work because I've tried to paste a layout that includes a bunch of different uh, numbers of columns. And for whatever reason, that does not work. Uh, so maybe we'll see that updated in the future. Right now, it is a bit of a limitation. And additionally, if I create a toggle within one of these columns, so if I create a toggle inside of a multi-column layout, even if I just select these three, not this entire layout here, but just these three right here, and try to paste it like we did just recently, it's not gonna work. If the toggle exists on a line within the Notion layout that already has multiple columns, trying to paste multiple columns inside of it just kicks them out and kicks them onto the nearest full line. Now I could grab just this one and easily paste it in there, no problem, but if I wanna paste everything inside of this toggle, I need the toggle to be on its own line first then I can grab them, I can paste them in, and then I could move my toggle into a multiple column area. I could turn it into a heading, 
and then I could get rid of it. So keep that in mind when you are designing your layouts. And that is about going to do it for this lesson here in Notion Fundamentals. Uh, as always, you can go over to thomasjfrank.com slash fundamentals, which I talked about in the beginning of this video to get all of the different example files, written versions of every lesson inside of this course, and a hub page where you can easily access all the other lessons. So if you wanna go reference the block lesson, if you wanna go reference the text entry lesson, it's all there and it's gonna be continually updated as I make the videos inside this course. Also on that page, you're gonna find an email sign-up box. If you would like to join my Notion Tips newsletter, you'll be the first to know when I release new content and new free Notion templates. One that I'm working on right now is a massive update to my ultimate note-taking system. This is gonna be much better than the one I released last year. And if you're on that Notion Tips newsletter, you're gonna be the first to know about it and the first to be able to duplicate it into your own system and start using it. So sign up to that list if you are curious. Otherwise, check those resources out and ask questions down in the comments below or over on Twitter. I'm at Tom Frankly over there. I'm very responsive on Twitter. And if you've got questions, I would love to try to answer them for you. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I will see you in the next one.